I'd like to propose to you guys is that you look for ways to get out into the digital environment to read, to write, and to engage, right? So I'm gonna kind of break down each one of those ones and I'm gonna talk about places to do that just in case you don't know where they are. Okay, so for the first one is read. There's lots of great things out there to read. You guys have US Army Doctrine, which has just changed, which is always exciting. Hey, how are you? You have, uh, you have uh, all kinds of other great tools that are out there to read. But there are also a number of very interesting blogs across the world that you can read with folks that are doing things very similar to you or similar to the places that you're going to go to next. So let's go to the next chart, please. All right, so this one is, uh, is a tool that's called a Prezi. And this is maintained by Grounded uh, Curiosity over in Australia, right? Originally, I was going to create my own list of like all the best blogs in the entire world. And then I was like, well, wait a minute. One of those already exists, so I'm not going to do it. So we'll drop the, uh, the link to this one in, the, in Facebook and Twitter as well. And you guys can pull this one and have, and have a look through. But what it does is it's, it's interactive. It'll pull up each of the regions uh, that, are, that are listed here. And you can go in and look at each of the major blogs that are operating. And they update this one iteratively. It's kind of a live listing. So for example, you could drill down to the UK. You could drill down to Wavel Room, or you could uh, look down to the Military Leader UK, some of their top blogs, and you can look at all their information, Facebook, Twitter, uh, et cetera. <clears throat> so I've got another question for you guys. This one's going to go into Facebook and Twitter as well, right? What is your favorite blog? What's the top resource that you use, either daily or whatever, how often that you guys look for? So I'm going to wait for you guys to all start typing on your devices, see where we go to. I will not be offended if you don't put the field grade leader, although I assume the majority of you will, which is fine. You guys can do that too. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, so writing. This goes back into the discussion uh, that we had earlier where you think, you know, I just I don't think I have anything interesting to say. And if you look back just a little bit in the chat, I think you'll see a good bit of people that would be very interested um, in your perspective. A lot of folks are apprehensive about writing for a number of reasons. Uh, they're afraid, number one, that they're gonna get trolled, which happens. They're afraid that they're gonna put themselves out there kind of in a vulnerable position, you know, and something's poorly written. You know, it's, you'll get picked apart, your perspective get picked, gets picked apart or whatever. So those are kind of the things that prevent people from writing. So I, I do a lot of that, um, which is not my nature, right? I put a lot of writing out. I do a lot of videos and those type things. I'm not, I'm not normally like that. I'm actually a terrible writer for anyone that's written any of my stuff or any of my op orders. They're really, really bad. Uh, but what you'll find that regardless of, of how it's written and really regardless of your message is people will break down into camps and they'll, they'll respond to you kind of in three different ways, right? So the most important way and I, it's just the way that it is because the internet is so big and so vast, you will find people that your message will resonate with, right? So you'll find people who will say, this is the best thing I've ever read. I've been thinking this exact thing. I haven't been able to articulate it. This is awesome. They'll share it. They'll be your top fanboy. High five. They'll continue to repost. So they're really great. Focus on those people. The next like bucket or bin of people that you will interact with will one-up you. They'll be like, well, that was, that's kind of interesting, you know, whatever. But when I was a Brigade S3, I did it this way. You know, I've got a better method. You know, all the things that go with it. That's okay too, right? Those people, even though it may not be the best engagement, they are also providing to the conversation and they're doing great things. The third bucket and the one that I would, I would recommend avoiding or kind of ignoring is the trolls, right? Regardless of what you say, regardless of how you interact, like there are people on social media who are just going to be mean and mean-spirited. There are people who say derogatory things about you just for fun. Like you just kind of brush those people off because their perspective is not important. So where to share is an interesting one as well. There's a ton of different options out there. As a starting point, you could look to the company leader if you've got perspective from your time as a company grade officer. You can look to From the Green Notebook, which is a great resource as well that most people are familiar with. Or if you've got something kind of at the higher end, strategic national level discussion, you can look to Strategy Bridge, who's been around a little bit longer and has a more established process. All of those are great uh, places to contribute and to write. You can write for the field grade leader at any time that you would like to. So again, part of the thing that we're trying to establish is a forum where folks can connect and interact. If you've got something that you want to get out about your experience, I can guarantee you that unless it's mean-spirited, 
uh, we will help you. We'll get you in touch with an editor. We'll get, it, we'll get it set up and we'll get your content out there for people to see. And the interesting thing with writing, although you may be apprehensive on the front end, there's something that's just formative about putting your ideas together, uh, getting them out, uh, getting them where people can see them. And for most people, they want to write again. They come back a week later and they're like, hey, I want to put something else out there. So that's, it's just a place for you to look. All right, so we're going interactive again. Pick up your device, everybody in the room. So this is for the folks that are, that are lacking creativity at the moment. So you've got two options. You can either say, you can either put in a topic that you would be interested in writing about, like I would really love to see an article on fill in the blank, and I'm planning to write it, or you could put in a topic that you do not want to write about, but you wish somebody else would. And someone like Colonel Wright or Colonel Stokes, who has lots of experience, will put that one together, right? Go ahead and put that one into the comments. And for all of you that are like, I have no clue, I do not know what to write, just look in the comments and be like, oh, I know about that, I can do that, and, and go get cranking in your spare time, okay? All right, so we're going to talk about engagement just a little bit. Engagement on Facebook is relatively easy. Everybody knows how to do that. You push follow. Uh, you can follow the stuff. It shows up in your Facebook feed. You put in a comment. You throw a thumbs up or whatever, the frowny face thing. Off you go. You're done for the day. So we're not going to talk about that one. We're going to talk about Twitter, which is a, just a weird space that a lot of folks don't understand. Who in the room like, doesn't get Twitter? Raise your hand. Okay, that's a good number. There's a, and the people out in the digital world are like, I'm on Facebook, I have no clue what you're talking about. Okay, so Twitter is unique because Twitter is like a, it's like a mosh pit of information and these weird threads or sub-conversations that just continue to go and go and go. So as I was preparing for this about a week ago, five days ago or so, I put out a tweet. Uh, go ahead and go to the next one, please. And I asked for a crowdsource, right? I was like, what do you guys think? Uh, what are the top uh, military Twitter influencers that are out there in the world? I threw a couple hashtags in. I tagged Army Leader Exchange, just look cool, so people thought I knew what I was doing. And I'm like, yeah, I'll probably get a couple of comments on this, whatever. So at last count, when I physically counted the comments, there were 500, and that was about uh, three days ago, right? The, this conversation spread, it morphed, it twisted. There were people talking about leader development. There were people talking about maneuver at NTC. Like the conversations just kept going and kept going. And it was a pretty, it was a pretty rich conversation. So go ahead and go to the next one, please. So what I pulled out of that was what I think are the top handful of people, if you were just starting out on Twitter and you wanted to get into it and look at what's going on in mill Twitter, like these are probably the people to check out. So back to the comments, this one's just for the Twitter audience. It doesn't have to be off the menu up here, but go ahead and drop in the comments in Twitter who you think the top influencers are uh, right now, or your number one person or whatever. I'm not going to sway anyone's opinion. I'm not going to say her name out loud. Uh, but I'd be interested to see what your feedback is. I see a couple of nods from the Twitter team. You know, what's interesting about Twitter is it's a place where you can drop some comments about a book that you're reading, and the author will come back and give you his perspective, or you can trade memes with a four-star general, which some of us do on a regular basis, which is just pretty interesting. So that's that one. All right, next chart, please. So that's, that's pretty much it, right? That's, that's my example with the field grade leader. But it's not the path that you have to take. Again, you don't have to go out and start a blog directly after this. What I'm asking for you to do today is to get into the conversation. And I think that we've highlighted a couple of ways that you can do that uh, through reading, through writing, and through engaging.